Hi, I'm Adrian. I'm a regional marketing director at the EduTech company. I've been a proud buddy owner for the past two months. And as you can tell, this is my favorite color, blue. And I got the Buddy R20 in this lovely shade of mercury blue. I've been riding bike for about 15 years and my interest is in exploring different places in Singapore for good places to eat, just to be able to uh, you know, spend time away from work to just chill out, uh, like what a lot of you are doing. Yeah. Uh, my wife actually gifted me with a folding bike. That started me really excited about all the convenience of it, right? Of being able to just ride anywhere I want and if it rains, being able to fold a bike and bring it back home. Now, uh, at this point of time, you know, I decided that it's been three years and more or less I've been thinking about uh, what I want in the next bike and then the birdie came along and that kind of ticked all the boxes I was looking for, yeah. I think the one thing about the R20 in general, right, is you could kind of like uh, configure it into a high performance, high speed folding racing bike or you could get thicker tyres and with the suspension, right, uh, convert it to something like a mountain bike, trail bike. And of course, at the end of the day, right, it's a, a folding bike that you could easily bring about anywhere. And I think the three S's, right, it has, it has style, it has speed, it has substance. And yeah, so I, I really enjoy the benefits of having this bike, right, yeah. I think when I first got the bike, I was apprehensive about the places I can go to because it's a, a bike with a thinner profile tires so I thought it would restrict the kind of places I can go to you know but interestingly right the tire uh, grips really well I even did a trip just before my recent birthday where I rode all the way to Tuas and it was just amazing right how the, the bike was just able to cope with the different kind of uh, terrain I would say that the paths that a lot of my friends we enjoy. It's the path from East Coast Park to Marina Bay Sands. So you cross East Coast and there's a bridge over to Gardens by the Bay. It's a very scenic route and at the end of the day, right, when you finish the journey, you can stop by Satay by the Bay for a meal. And ultimately, right, which a lot of people are doing now, going to Marina Bay Sands and taking a picture of yourself at the Apple Store. Absolutely, I think the R20 maintenance is just like any other bike. Right? I will always say that a bike by the three rules, right? Uh, wash your bike, dry your bike, and lubricate your bike, right? And do that regularly, that's important. At the end of the day, right, you want to continue to enjoy a good riding experience, maximize right, uh, the performance of the bike. I, I never really uh, you know, expected that this new bike of mine would actually get so much attention. Whenever I reach uh, like, uh, you know, rest points, coffee shops and all that, there always be someone who will just come up to me and ask me about the bike. Firstly, what bike is this, right? Uh, and secondly is, of course, what Singaporeans like to always ask, how much the bike costs and everything else. And I think another very memorable encounter was uh, doing a ride to Tanamera Coastal Road and somewhere in the middle of the ride, there was a heavy, heavy thunderstorm. And for the rest of the ride, it was just pouring. And I was riding the bike on the road and the bike was gripping the road so well. And I was able to get out of the rain really quickly and safely. That was when it really gave me a lot of confidence to say that this is a bike that I can actually explore across different conditions confidently. Here's a shout out for those of you who are in Passeris. We are looking for Buddy riders together, together, you know. And for the rest of you, we look forward to see you around whenever you are in Passeris or on the east side.